Hi everybody. We're making cookies this morning. There we go. We are making cookies. Probably not move this back a little bit more. I can't see the hmm. That might be better so people can see me working. Yeah, that works better. Right, Penny Girl? All right. Oh, gosh. Here, I think he's telling me to check on this. I can't tell if they're done or not. Okay, so I'm making cookies this morning. I can't tell if these are done or not, but these are chocolate crinkles. I made the dough last night, had it in the fridge, and today I'm rolling them in powdered sugar and baking them. To see, I feel like these could be done. Okay, we're gonna give them a minute to kind of cool. There we go, welcome to live chat. I wasn't on my chat. This is my very first time going live, so forgive me. Um, I have, I have to make a goal of 20 dozen cookies today. So I have been prepping and making cookie dough, freezing it, and now some cookie doughs I can't freeze ahead of time or I don't feel comfortable, so I'm I still have to make dough, <laughs> but my name is Lisa and you're watching One Lisa Show and today, I haven't been on YouTube for a while, it has been the most hectic two weeks of, of my life in a long time and not in a bad way, but in a stressful work way. So I wanted to just, I'm making cookies, I'm going to be here, I thought I'd put this screen on, see what's going on in the world, where is everybody from, I'm in Indiana. And you see my messy kitchen because I'm working on cookies. And yeah, I just wanted to see what's going on. What is everybody doing? How's your sewing? How's your uh, crochet, your knitting, any projects, getting ready for Christmas? Um, this bag right here, and, and definitely, I don't know if I have this on or not, but if someone can say hi or something so I know that we are, we've got comments or anything like that, that's not bad. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't announce I was going to be live by any means. So if you can, I'm excited, you know, to kind of work on cookies. But anyway, this is my chocolate cr crinkles dough. Those are gloves because I wear gloves to roll them. I roll them into balls. I put them in powdered sugar. And now I'm going to take those off of the cookie sheet. I will be right back. I'm hoping they're done. You look like you're done. Okay. Get a pot cooler here because this is going to be warm. Another parchment sheet, and I'll start working on these. What do we have? Oh, hey, Mary! <coughs> Hi, Mary! <coughs> Shh, I got her excited. I'm. <coughs> yes, I know. You're a good girl, Penny. You're a good girl. I can't even pet her because my hands have been washed so many times, I don't want to pet her and then wash them again. Um, but yeah, I'm just making these cookies. I have to do 20 dozen. That's my goal. No, I'm sorry. My goal is 60 dozen. I want to do 20 trays of cookies. So my goal is to do 60 dozen cookies. That's a timer. That's a timer. You see how I'm working? So we're going to see. These are not ready. Set that for 
another two minutes. Since I'm gonna be just working on cookies today, <laughs> well, almost, I'm still working. I'm still working. Um, I sent out some emails just a couple minutes ago, but I'm working, and then I have a doctor's appointment this mid-morning, so I have only a limited time to do cookies this morning, and then I have an appointment. Um, I have an appointment with a client at like 2.30, and I'll spend more time driving than I will actually meeting with the client, but that's okay. And then I sent out some emails this morning. I'm waiting to hear back from some lenders and title companies so I can get back to my clients. Yeah, and in the midst of it all, tomorrow is our cookie distribution day. So um, my boyfriend, Big Daddy, and I pass out cookies to like our uh, work affiliates, people in the community, like the post office. I take them to church. I take them to some of my favorite doctors. Uh, believe it or not, I take cookies to my dentist and they love them. And uh, he takes them to a lot of his clients. And so we need 20 trays of cookies. And I always aim for three dozen cookies on every tray because I want the trays to look super full and exciting and, you know, kind of like a special treat. The first year I did it, I think I gave everybody like a paper plate with like a dozen cookies on it and realized some of these, some of my boyfriend's clients, their companies might have 50 employees or 20 employees. And so we started getting trays from GFS, which is like a restaurant supply store. I got these in the oven, so hold, hold your horses, everybody. I got two ovens going. I've got our convection oven up here. And I do this every year. So this is not anything new, the chaos. Now going Facebook Live, that's the chaos. But it's nice to not be alone. So I'm gonna get these in. So let's do that. These are at 325 for about eight minutes, and I don't know how to work the timer on this. So we're gonna just start. Okay, timer on this one, about eight minutes, set it for that one. This one's at 350, and it's got chocolate chip cookies in it. And I need to get my pizza stone out of the oven once it cools. I mean, I feel like these could take another minute or so. Oh, they're probably good. They're probably good. Some people like the gooey cookie. Some people like a crispy cookie. So then that gives me time to start molding some more of these. You see how this works? <laughs> this will be my whole day, except for this is the nor. I usually take the whole day off to do all the cookies. And instead today, I have a doctor's appointment and I have a client meeting appointment and I have to still work. So I'm with you guys, I'm with you. Um, those are on. I gotta get the next batch of cookies in, which means once those set in a minute, I'll take them off their trays, put them in the other room where I have a tape, our dining room. I have the dining table laid out with um, a towel and tons of parchment paper. And the reason I do that is because then I can slide these right off onto the parchment paper and reuse those cookie sheets because in actuality, a person like me is not gonna have 60 cookie sheets. We have, we have four. We may have five, but I know we have four. What's going on in the world? What is everybody up to? I have a minute where I have to wait for those to cool. And then I'll get the next batch of chocolate chips in. Yeah, I have not been keeping up with Vlogmas, so I have to apologize. There's so many Vlogmas videos. I was trying to do Vlogmas this year, and I was very excited about it, and I realized in looking back that first week of Vlogmas, all I did was complain about work, cry about work, and I didn't get an opportunity to really show you my day-to-day, -day, and those were my intentions of Vlogmas. So with that being said, I had a couple of days that were ridiculously stressful, and I did not, when I went back to edit videos, 
the videos, I was more disappointed that this is what I'm showing people. So I, I just didn't, I haven't done Vlogmas this whole week because I had the first two days I missed, I was combining into one and it was just nonstop me disappointed, me working and not even take, having my iPad with me to take you along for the ride and not having it on which defeated the purpose. So I got really frustrated by that and thought, sometimes you have to let some things go. I wanna do everything. And sometimes you just need to know to focus on certain things and it's okay. It's okay if I don't do Vlogmas this year. This is, this is fine. As long as I'm still working and I'm gonna have lots of time to make videos once the holidays, you know, we get to the holiday. And I had to finish my cookie dress for my I'm so fat from the I'm so festive challenge on Instagram, uh, hosted by I'm helping, I'm an ambassador, and simply Delilah and Kim Getty Sews are the main go to's for this I'm so festive challenge. But I have made my cookie dress, I can't wait to show it to you guys. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. So, my goal is while I'm wearing it tomorrow to show you and take pictures. Hey, it's Mary. Oh my God, too many things to do, not enough time. That is how December is right now. There are too many things to do. I still have to make Christmas presents for my nieces. I need to make pajama pants for me and my boyfriend. That's just the sewing aspect of it. I have two more files I'm trying to get closed before the end of the year, hopefully this week, hopefully tomorrow and Friday. And, um, I have more Christmas parties. We had a Christmas party Friday. We had a Christmas party the set Sunday before. Lots of Christmas parties and it is, um, that's stressful too. Just going, just going to Christmas parties is stressful, right? Oh, okay, I'm gonna get these off. I can't take you with because I'm going to be carrying the trays. But I will be back in one second. So now we're going to get some cookies done here. Two more parchments. Parchments are cheap. It's the cookie sheets that aren't. <clears throat> Morning, ladies. Ah, oh, yeah. Isn't it interesting how that goes? I, now, Mary, you've gone live before. How do you keep this? I'm trying to see how I can keep my um, my messages up as much as, as long as possible. Some live chat, all messages are visible. Here we go. <laughs> Figure that I can watch. Everybody's got to go to work. It's Monday morning, right? Okay, these are definitely cool. So now I'm going to pop. So my biggest trick for Christmas cookies, when we do this, every year we do these cookie trays. Every year I have grandiose plans. I'm going to do 60 dozen. We need about 20 trays. If they get two and a half dozen, I'm fine with it. But here's my thing. I make my cookies. This is poor lighting, but I make my cookies, roll them into balls. This is chocolate chip, and I freeze them. I freeze the balls. And then this makes that part of it easier. And using parchment paper is also spectacular because you can reuse these throughout the day. So I think. You know, as long as you're using it on the same type of cookie, it's pretty good. But if I'm switching, like later I'm gonna make ginger snaps, that'll be my last cookie that I make of the day. 
I have not made that dough because I have found I don't particularly care how that freezes. Oh, it's in the U yes, it is. I um the UK. Welcome. I mostly do crafts, sewing and, and knitting and crochet, but I do love to bake. I'm known for baking where I live. Even though I'm a realtor, people love my cookies. I've had people asking, when am I doing, when's cookie day? Uh, so they make sure they're at work or wherever when I pass out the cookies and my boyfriend passes out cookies. So um, I like to take part in uh, Beyond the Pink Doors Zoom and the one o'clock p.m. our time and seven o'clock your time. Okay, those cookies, is this cold down yet? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give them another minute. Okay, those need one more minute. I'm gonna pop these in. These are my frozen chocolate chip balls. So I usually add just a minute of time to these. They usually cook for 12 minutes. I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna check them in. Check them in 12, but expect it to be 13. And then those will be out soon. And then I'll switch and do it again. So this is the whole day with the exception of me going to a doctor appointment, blah. But yeah, so my... Oh, thanks, Mary. Thanks, Ma Mary's the best, isn't she? I love watching Mary. <laughs> I love watching Mary, she's so crafty. Oh, she's... I need to get one of those machines so I could do the vinyl. Um, but another day, another time. Yeah, Mary's awesome. And actually, Mary, I gotta tell you, I like to watch you playing the games. Sometimes in the middle of the night, Mary will be playing, playing, um, I don't know, is it a computer, like, playing a game. I actually like watching some of those. I don't have any gaming system, uh, but I do enjoy that. It's just neat. It's very, I don't want to say it's voyeuristic, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm playing the game. No, it's true, Mary. It's true. Yeah, those games, and I'm guessing Mary's playing the games, or is it somebody else in your family playing games? It doesn't matter. I like watching. <laughs> if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm watching it if it's on. Okay, so chocolate crinkles. I'm gonna just, it's poor lighting. Sorry, I have lights on so I can see what I'm doing and I can't really share with you guys. See if it'll focus, there we go. Chocolate crinkles. They're puffed, the crinkles have appeared and I. it looks like the top is kind of dry. So, starting to dry, so that's when I'm gonna take them out. Oh, that's so funny while I watch them play. <laughs> now I know, though, it's not you. <laughs> yeah, if I wake up in the middle of the night, um, and I can't fall back asleep. Well, right now I will put on a Vlogmas. But if I can't sleep uh, outside of Vlogmas, I've been watching whatever. There's the one where it's like underwater. I don't even know all the names of them because I don't have a gaming system. But um, it reminds me of when I was in high school back in the day. And we had our good old um, IBM computer. <laughs> and we would play... It wasn't Dungeons and Dragons. It was something similar to Dungeons and Dragons, where it was one of those first person, you know, as you walk through a room. But it was similar to Dungeons and Dragons, and I can't remember the name of it, but we played that. And there were four of us, one computer, so we would watch each other play. So that kind of reminds me of that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm 
saving my bags, I my boyfriend will use them for throwing out something in the garage. So I save those bags. Subnautica, yes, that's what I watch a lot of. I don't quite get it, but that's okay. Um, and I hate to tell you this, but sometimes it'll help me fall back asleep. I do watch that. Um, what do we have? We have cookies in here. We don't have anything in there. So I need to start making, I need to start making cookie balls. Let me wash my hands. And what time is it? It is, I don't know what time it is. Well, I'll find out when I get... I will find out shortly enough. Okay, so back to my chocolate crinkles. I'm out of cookie balls. So I take a bag of powdered sugar. This had to sit in the fridge overnight. It's similar to a brownie batter. That's the best way to describe it. But I will say, if you... You're on YouTube. John Cannell and his channel is Preppy Kitchen. He's got some really good recipes and he's got a chocolate crinkle recipe. I put this one on backwards, but, or wrong hands, but it's okay. Um, he's got a really good chocolate crinkle recipe and I actually used his Sprix cookie recipe this year and it turned out fabulous. Um, so. Preppy Kitchen, he's got a matching website that goes to, and that taught me a lesson. I wanted to blog about, I wanted to make videos about my sewing journey because it's easier to share your sewing journey with others when you can see it, right? So that's how, why I started my YouTube channel. Initially was to do sewing, and then I do love to bake, so I wanted to do some baking videos. But the best part is, is the advice I get from everybody when I post my videos, when I'm having an issue um, with something or watching other people's pattern reviews, that's very helpful tutorials. So that is why I started my YouTube channel. But I had intentions of also doing a blog, like a little website, and this is my hobby. Um, work consumes me and at 9 o'clock I'll have to get off because then all the offices will be open and I'll have to quickly check and see if anybody's responded to my emails uh, and if they haven't make some phone calls right I might be able to go live again this afternoon after all my appointments to finish up what I haven't done yet and more than likely at that point it'll be ginger stew. So my cookie, my cookie plans are, I did make spritz cookies yesterday, I made brownies yesterday, I made, yeah, I do a lot of sewing. Mary, I do, and then I don't. Some people do so much sewing, and I, I think the problem is, is I'm like a squirrel. I, my attention span is not. So I see everybody else's videos, and they're making really cool things. Um, the baker that sews may, has been making these Helen's Plaza Yanta overalls for quite some time. She loves them, and I used to wear overalls when I was in my 20s. They were really in fashion then, uh, during the grunge movement. And then, now I'm thinking, I don't know, oh, and, Oh, I hope you can. I think you should you should do it. If anything, whip up, whip up a pair of shorts or something real quick if you can. I just finished my dress and I'll show it tomorrow. It's so wonderful, Mary. It's I love my dress. I love my dress. It's a little house on the prairie kind of feel to it, but I don't care. And it's so warm in Indiana right now. It is 46 degrees. It's eight something in the morning. And I think in the next day or so, we're going to hit about 60, which is ridiculous. I'm waiting for snow, and we're going to be like 20, 25 degrees warmer than normal. Oh, so I got a bunch of these balls in here, so then I'm going to kind of shake it up to get them all coated in the powdered sugar. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I, I'm happy with it. I'm real happy with the dress. Um, I'm gonna deliver all my cookies in it tomorrow. So tomorrow's cookie delivery day, so I bake them all today. Oh, so I was gonna tell you, these are the cookies I'm making. So I have chocolate chip, peanut butter, spritz cookies, brownies, Rice Krispie treats, these chocolate crinkles you see here. There's also like a cranberry nut white chocolate in the freezer. And then I'm going to do little shortbreads. Um, I'm also gonna do little, we call them Mexican wedding cakes. They're like little snowballs, um, little ball cookies with powdered sugar. See, 45 degrees in Michigan is warm, right? This time of year, I think that's kind of warm. I think that's warm for us this time of year. Um, and then ginger snaps and ginger snaps will be my last cookie of the day and I might have to make two batches of those to make up for it but right now in the dining room I have seven dozen cookies baked I have about five dozen that I did yesterday of spritz and brownies and rice krispie treats so hey not bad <laughs> I can do this and I, I freak out every year. I freak out every year. Yeah, right? That's warm. Because we're in Indiana and we're close. We're, I'm only an hour from, uh, from Michigan, from New Buffalo. Yeah, it's... Hi! Hi, Trish! Trish is here! I'm making cookies and I haven't seen anybody in a long time. And I have so many videos to catch up on. And I scrapped my vlog mess. I've just been way too busy, way too busy. I got a minute left for the cookies in here. And I think, hold, hang tight. I'm gonna get some parchments from there and reuse them. And I'm gonna get these going. Okay, here, I'm so excited to see Trish that I walked away. That's not nice. That's rude. That was rude. Yeah, I only have a couple more minutes, but then I'm going to have to get cracking and check and see who's if anybody's responded to any of my massive work emails. Let's get these cookies in. And then my boyfriend, so Big Daddy is uh, technically on vacation, but he still had to go to work this morning and put in his time for it. And he has to stop at a couple of, oh, there was a timer. He does have to stop at a couple of places really fast this morning for work. But when he gets home, I will probably be gone to my doctor's appointment. And then he's going to work on dishes for me in the interim. He's in... This is a loud, so I'm sorry. This this is our microwave slash convection oven, and it is it is loud. And then I heard the timer, so let's check these cookies. 8:30. Yeah, you got a little bit more time. So 12 minutes, and then I usually have to do another minute because it is a frozen cookie. Let me get more parchments. Oh, I missed somebody. Pink, I missed a comment. Hold on. They're going so fast, I can't catch them. Oh my gosh, I wish you could be over here too. I would need the help. <laughs> oh, and I, there was the other comment I missed here. You enjoy watching the videos. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, from one Lisa to another Lisa. Love it. Love it.
Okay, back with a couple more parchments. Those are going to be ready. Yes, stop yelling at me, oven. Does anybody else, is anybody else on that part of their life where they need bifocals? <laughs> I actually like drop my eyes to stop my glasses with my head so I can see clearer and it's annoying. Okay. This one should not be Back to our chocolate chips. I do the most of chocolate chips and I do the most of cranberry. And the cranberry ones are real simple. You make chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, hey, Teresa, how are you? Yeah, bifocals, these are not my bifocals. I have a pair of bifocals. They kind of sit in my car. Uh, because when I go to the grocery store, I really need them. And I, I definitely don't like being in a public place and constantly touching my glasses, so I wear them more when I'm out driving and in stores. That timer ends, it doesn't want to stop. So, um, I forgot where I was. I do mostly chocolate chip and cranberry, and I'm gonna tell you the cranberry go over really well when you're doing a cookie tray. You make chocolate chip cookie dough, but instead of chocolate chips, I do craisins, white chocolate chips I can't oh oh really um oh let me I'm seeing the chat the what's in the chat and I just get like sucked in um yeah I haven't been able to I've been sewing but not like to the extent I normally do but anyway the craisins cookie is chocolate chip cookie dough instead of chocolate chips you do craisins, white chocolate chips, and then I buy a can of mixed nuts and I chop it, uh, coarsely chop them, and I put those in. And they're salty. If you don't want salted nuts, you don't have to do salted, but I find that's a nice difference. And people love them. This is my third year of doing the craisin cookie. Um, but yeah, I do a small bag of craisins, throw it in. I do a half a bag of white chocolate chips throw it in and then just like a nice chunk handful of a small can of mixed nuts chop it up because you don't want a big massive you don't want a big massive pecan or cashew poking out oh i missed no bifocals mary it sucks mary the bifocals suck because now i i i just want to go like this all day long Difficulty glasses is when you leave the house and think it's fine. Oh. We're wearing a mask out and it fogs up all the time. All the time. Let me dump these into the other room. That'll be my nine dozen. Awesome. I'll be right back, ladies. crazy. Okay, we're going to put that there for this minute. Get these chocolate chips on. Wait till you see the mess in the other room. <laughs> Maybe it will not show you that. But organized chaos over here. Organized chaos for sure. And it looks like I'm going to have to start getting ready for my doctor's appointment soon. So I'm going to be on just a couple more minutes. And then I'm going to have to leave everyone for, for a short time. And then hopefully come back later. We'll see if I can do it. If I'm not too stressed out. But I feel like I'm really moving and grooving here. Those are looking pretty good. 
almost done. I think that's my last bag of chocolate chips. bag of chocolate chips and I still have crinkle cookie dough enough for probably another dozen at least they're still a little moist Maybe Okay, next up is going to be peanut butters, but I really have to get ready for a doctor appointment. And print the things for me to meet my clients. Why don't I do this? Why don't I get a couple more of these rolled? Can you tell I was a cancer patient? Can I put on gloves or what? When I get back from my doctor's appointment, that's when I'm going to probably do my shortbreads. And those I roll out into like a little, I have a cookie cutter design. It's like a snowflake cookie cutter design. Very small. And I can usually get a lot of cookies out of one batch of shortbread. And the, what I do that makes them different is I use um, a, a different extract. Flavoring. So I'll use, it's called the Ori Cecilia. I get it from King Arthur Flowers website. And you can get the small one, it's going to last a long time. It's very strong, but it's a scent. It's like an, the best way for me to describe it is it gives your food, your baked goods, that bakery uh, flavor. It is orange and vanilla and I think rum. Oh, oh, Teresa, I'm so happy you're here, but I won't be on for much longer, so don't feel bad. But I might come back this afternoon if that works. Uh, if anybody has an opportunity in a few hours, maybe around, oh yeah, no. But I want to taste a cookie. I haven't, I haven't made these chocolate crinkles in probably 10 years, so I'm a little nervous. I'm going to actually try one here shortly. Most of my recipes are from King Arthur Flowers website, kingarthurbaking.com. Oh, hey, Kelly! Oh, that's my sister. Hi, Kelly. Break from work. Back at work. You were on vacation. Yeah, most of my cookies recipes are kingarthurbaking.com and then the other ones are from, I have a book, it's back here, so you're not going to be able to see it and I'm gloved up, but it's called The Village Baker's Wife and it's um, written by a bakery owner in California. And I've had that book, it might be out of print, I've had that book a long time. And I absolutely, uh, it doesn't have breads, but it's mostly like Danish pastry dough, so it's like cinnamon rolls, croissants, uh, cookies, pies, stuff like that. And here I am at the end of the batch for this chocolate crinkle. Oh, I better check those other ones, right? Someone could remind me. Check your cookies. Let me get those out. I hope I didn't burn them. No, I don't think they burnt, but they look awesome. So this came out of the Village Baker's Wife, but I did watch John Canal's Preppy Kitchen. So I'm getting some recipes from his YouTube channel, Preppy Kitchen, as well. So this is my fourth dozen of the chocolate.
everybody. I'm going to take a quick, get these last bits in the oven and then take a break. And hopefully be on later. If I do come on later, it's going to have to be like the four or five o'clock hour uh, for me, I think, because, well, I don't know. I should have a little break where I'll be making cookies again, probably around noon central time. And that will only be about an hour's worth of cookie making. Yeah, that's right. I'm um, trust me, I'm gonna have a big glass of milk. I didn't even eat breakfast yet. I was wake up to cookie making central. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be back if it if I will be back, it'll probably be somewhere around that noon central time in Indiana. And uh if not, it'll be closer to like the 5 p.m. time. I'm not sure. I, this will kind of use a trial run. I have felt so bad about not putting my vlogmas up and no videos, no Friday Sews videos, and um, I actually feel bad about it. I don't want anybody to worry, and I, um, I've just been super stressed and super busy with work. Like I said, I haven't been able to really sew much. I have so I have sewing to do by nieces. I had so big grandiose plans of making them all like wardrobes for Christmas, and that has not happened. And I still have to do. So many things. <laughs> so many things. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sign off and I will try to be back and maybe show you the progress if I can. And if I can't, please don't uh, take it against me. Um, I am working and I have doctor's appointments today, which sucks. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. But yeah, 42 minutes. Wow. It is, I'm gonna get these last ones out. and get to work. And I'm gonna have one of those cookies, one of those cookies with milk, because Trish knows, knows that's how you, that's how we roll, that's, you need it. Super cold milk, warm gooey cookie, nothing better, nothing better. Okay, if I don't come back on, I will take pictures because I'm always so proud of the cookie mountain. Thank you, I hope to see everybody soon too, and have a wonderful, wonderful day if I don't come back. Oh, I know. I'm excited. I, and I want to do live streams with sewing too. I love how Kittenish Behavior does her little streams. And I, I would like to do that also when I have time. I know, right? You'll get cookies, Kelly. I'm going to take a whole, I'm going to take a trade mom and dad's tomorrow. So you can pop over there anytime after tomorrow and, and grab some cookies. Love you guys all. And Kelly, I'm so happy you got to see you on here. <laughs> Actually, everybody. Oh, Bye, not so broke nurse. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.